of our Williamsburg weekend. Mm -hmm. And today we are getting ready. We just got ready and we're ready to head out to the Revolutionary War Museum in Yorktown, which neither of us have been here before. No. Mm -mm. So this will be completely new. We're going to go to the museum and then we're going to walk around on some of the battlefields that are there. Um, and if I know we have some international viewers, so if you're unfamiliar, um, the Battle of Yorktown is actually one of the most significant battles of the Revolutionary War because that is where the British surrendered. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're excited. We're big Revolutionary War buffs. Um, mm -hmm. And also, something kind of fun about being here in Williamsburg is we are also big Hamilton fans. Yeah. <laughs> the musical. And um, so if you're not a history fan, but maybe you're a Hamilton fan, mm -hmm. when you're going around here, there's a lot of uh, sites that are referenced in the musical. And so you can kind of uh, connect with the musical a little mm -hmm. bit more, too. I've been playing the soundtrack quite a lot as we've been going around. Yeah, you have. <laughs> All right, guys, so we'll see you at the museum. of a neat space. When Yorktown was being bombarded, uh, Lord General Cornwallis moved his command into this cave and then this is where he spent the last couple days of the Battle of Yorktown before the British surrendered.
that was created by Paul Revere. It's pretty much the best uh, account that we have of the Boston Massacre today. But did you guys know that Paul Revere actually stole this idea from somebody else? It was actually pr uh, first printed by another artist. I believe his name was Pelham. I have to check that to be sure. But he actually stole this from somebody else and we found out uh, several years after the fact. All right, so we've only been in here for a few minutes, but the museum educators here are wonderful. They've already been coming up and just giving us so much information. So these are some of the uniforms that were worn during the war. And this is a continental uh, uniform. And one thing that he taught us was that each of the colonies had a different coloring here. So this was a Virginia continental uniform, but each of the colonies would have had something different. And this one I thought was really interesting because it looks like something we'd wear today, but this was actually a militiaman uniform. And once again, these can be different colors, but this was kind of exciting because I've actually done a lot of research on my ancestry and a lot of my ancestors were militiamen uh, down south. And one of my ancestors even fought with the Swamp Fox, which is who the movie The Patriot is based off of. And then this is another continental uniform that would have been worn by like the drummers. Then we have a French uniform, and all of these are British uniforms down here. Tarleton of the British Army, and I will lead you in rooting out this rebellion in the Carolinas. We must push more. of a bummer that I'm loving is that everything is so interactive, but unfortunately due to COVID, you're not allowed to touch most of the interactive stuff, but I think when COVID's over, this is just really cool hands-on experiences. about that we're gonna do it's actually a 40 movie of the battle of Yorktown so apparently we're gonna feel like we are right there in the middle of the battle 
except the screen wraps around 180 degrees. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> so we just watched that 4D movie. What did you think about it? It was pretty cool. Um, like the your seats were kind of shaking. The uh, there was some smoke. Obviously, you had from like one peripheral to the other. Uh, part of your vision was just a movie uh, all about the siege at Yorktown, Battle of Yorktown. So that was really cool. Uh, I could see also where school groups, young children would really love that and just really feel immersed in that as well. I think one thing that I'm really impressed with, like we go to a lot of history museums because we enjoy this sort of thing, but I know a lot of people don't like history. And I feel like if you're one of those people, something like that 4D movie is so cool because it's so immersive. Yeah, it brings um, the history to life. It really does. So I think this is a place you could enjoy, even if you're someone who's not super into history. Um, I would say like all the museums we have been to, this one definitely has some of the coolest movies and interactive mm -hmm. features that I've ever seen. Yeah. So let's keep going. <laughs> So this is the Liberty Tree and they have these television screens where you type in the definition of liberty and then it will appear on the lanterns hanging from the Liberty Tree and you can also go in and see what other people have put as well. This is really cool. There's the indoor museum space that we were just at, and then they have a whole outdoor space here that's more of a living history museum. And so this is showing what a continental uh, encampment site would have looked like. So uh, we've got actors out here, and they've got everything, uh, the tents and everything set up to look the way it would have looked during the war. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We talk about these ideals, we shouldn't settle for less. Thomas, that was a real nice declaration. <laughs> okay, that's all you're gonna get. They've got a lot of great educational books in here. If you're homeschooling, there's a lot of cool stuff. I like wanna buy all kinds of things. This book right here, Worst of Friends, this is one of my favorite American history books because it's about how Thomas Jefferson and John Adams didn't get along, but how they could work together for what was important. So I love using this book with kids because it teaches them history, but it also teaches them the importance of compromise and that we don't always like everyone that we have to work with, but we can still get along. I also love this book if you are a Virginia resident. It's really cool. It's like the ABCs of Virginia. This is a great one. So we just got back from the Revolutionary War Museum. It was awesome. Yeah. A lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I actually used to, for two years, I actually worked in museum spaces and I designed expeditions and programming for school groups. And so I'm kind of picky about museums. And this one was literally one of the best I've been to. Like the mm -hmm. interactives were fantastic. The information was fantastic. The videos were fantastic. And kind of like we were saying earlier, this is a great museum if you're not a history person, like you don't really like history. This, I think it's still really fun just because there's so many interactives and everything's just done really well. Yeah, we saw several school groups yeah. uh, while we were there. So it's perfect. 
for that. And actually, speaking of school groups, I did look up some information. It looks like uh, student pricing starts at about $7 per person, and then if you're not with a school group, I think it is. it starts around $16 per person. So at the time of filming this, that's what pricing looks like to go. Yeah, pretty reasonable. Yeah, but we've had a great time in Williamsburg oh, yeah. this weekend. Mm -hmm. We're getting ready to head home soon. Um, but thanks for joining us on our Williamsburg adventure. And if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to our channel because we're going to be taking more adventures soon and we like sharing them with you guys. Yep. See you guys later.